Thanks, Steve. Now, I'm here at Jim and Tess Steckel's Soma's home, where earlier this week, they almost lost thousands of dollars in family jewels. Now, while they were off enjoying themselves on a cruise, the burglar came and he did something so strange, something inconceivable, something culinary. Now, to better explain this story, we have eyewitnesses, Steve and his wife, Carol. Test. Test. The mic is fine, Steve. Okay. Um, so what happened that day? I smelled something kind of good coming from the Steckles' house. He, it was... he has senses like a bloodhound. Oh, okay. And what, what were you smelling? Chicken pot pie. So what happened next? Well, so I'm thinking I'm hungry. And, and so I go up to the front door and, and I say, I'm going to get me some chicken pot pie. So you just waltzed right in to taste the pot pie. I came in and they have one of those houses that you can see the kitchen kind of from the front door, you know? Yes. You know, I saw somebody moving about and I was like, hey, maybe Jim's in there. So I call out, hey, Jimbo, it's Steve the man. You know, those are their nicknames. I, I figured that there's no figuring. It just is. So, Steve, what, what happened next? Usually he would whistle, you know, and then I would go, hey, and then he would kind of do this weird trembling thing. A positive trembling, a kind of trembling you wouldn't understand. A positive trembling. Okay, Steve, so what happened next? So then, you know, I would come in and I would say, I found you, you know, and he would say, I have been found. <laughs> so isn't that great? Um, it was, and w- well, what, what happened then? Well, stop saying that. You're saying the same line every time. We're just trying to get the story here. So Steve, what, what happened after that? Nothing like what I thought was going to happen happened. I went in, and the man in there was wearing his underwear. It wasn't Jimbo, and he was cooking a pot pie. We kind of met eyes a little bit, and it was strangely, like, kind of mystical. And and you had a moment. You told me that last night. You had a moment. Well, whatever. And uh, yeah, we kind of had a moment. So what I'm hearing is the burglar was in his underwear. weren't you afraid that he'd be upset? weren't you? He could be dangerous. Yeah. He wasn't just a burglar, but he was, he could be like a culinary savant based off of what Steve told me last night. But he was there to steal the family jewels and you weren't, you weren't afraid at all. I mean, didn't the guy look kind of like Jimbo? Weren't you kind of like, well, maybe, you know, since he looks like Jimbo. He, yeah, he kind of, well, he kind of looked like him. I mean, a little bit. So I thought maybe he's a nice guy too, you know, and I don't remember his name, but I thought maybe he could be named Jimbo as well. You know, maybe a little bit. So, so you contacted the authorities and then, and then what happened? I have to taste that pot pie, you know? So, well, I'm going, so I'm going to his cell on, uh, I think it's Thursday, going on Thursday. Hopefully he's going to get the recipe. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to the jail, you know, on Thursday. Wonderful. Well, I think we've heard enough about this guy. Very interesting story. A thief tries to break into a home to steal family jewels, strips down to his underwear, and makes a pot pie. Chicken, Chicken pot, pot pie. pie.